As Rochester celebrates 200 years of Frederick Douglass, we remember his famous words, that it is easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. This year, Jason Lovett became the first African-American valedictorian in the history of the University Preparatory Charter School for Young Men. Hopefully, there will be many more. Jason is headed to Clark Atlanta University this fall with a full academic scholarship. He tells other students here in Rochester that it is possible for them, that it can be done. As mayor, I want to embrace this message. I want to hear it shouted from the rooftops. But unfortunately, Jason's school did not allow him to give his valedictorian speech. For some reason, his school, in a country where freedom of speech is a constitutional right, in the city of Frederick Douglass, turned his moment of triumph into a time of sorrow and pain. Marion Wright Edelman has spent a lifetime as an activist for our children, and she reminds us, a nation that does not stand for its children does not stand for anything and will not stand tall in the future. If we don't stand up for children, then we don't stand for much. The future, which we hold in trust for our own children, will be shaped by our fairness to other people's children. Jason will never graduate from high school again. He will never get that moment back. This is not a time to punish a child because you may not like what they say. We tell our children that if they work hard, if they study hard, that people will treat them with dignity, respect, and fairness. I've attended many graduations this year and throughout my career, and I've heard many valedictorians talk about their hopes and their dreams and think the important people in their lives, like their parents. They were allowed to take their bow, and that is why it is my honor to give Jason the opportunity to take his bow now. First, I would like to acknowledge that I am the first African-American valedictorian in U Prep history. I say that not to brag, but to emphasize the importance of this. Hopefully there will be many more after me, and I want it to be known that this isn't impossible and it can be done. It's been a long six years, and I say six because I've been in here at U Prep since seventh grade, so I know. I won't take up too much of y'all time because I know I hate when people talk forever. So I'm gonna just get my shout outs out of the way now if y'all don't mind. First, I would like to thank my mom and dad. Anybody that really knows me knows my mom and she don't play. She made sure I went to school and I had what I needed. She made sure that I had good grades and she always told every teacher, if it's a problem, then call me. Whenever I got in trouble at school, I got in trouble at home. And I guess looking back, I can appreciate that because it taught me actions have consequences. If she wasn't like that, then I probably wouldn't be giving a speech right now. I want to thank my dad for always being there to talk to me and get my mind right. He showed me things I didn't know, and when I had questions about anything, he would explain it so I could understand it. And I ask a lot of questions. People tell me I get it from him. I love both of them, and I couldn't be here without them. I want to acknowledge my brother Tafari. Y'all know he's always with me, and we go through everything together. I could ask him for anything, and the answer will be yes. I want to let you know that I appreciate you, and we got a long journey to go. I want to thank my brother, LeJason. He was the U Prep salutatorian last year, and he just finished his freshman year at Morehouse College. Being that he was a year ahead of me, he experienced everything before I did, and I got a chance to learn from him. My older sister, Jonah, gets a shout out too. I want to mention all my day one brothers, Mark, Karan, Carlos, Zach, Xavier, Zaquante, Joe, Centrell, and there's too many more to name. I want to thank Ms. Denker, who was like my second mom at school and all of the administrators for telling me what I needed to hear and not what I wanted to hear when I got in trouble. But in all seriousness, we're here now, and it's time to really take that step. To all my brothers graduating today, it's been a long time coming, and it's gonna get real out here. I wish y'all the best, and I hope success meets every single one of you. I'll be a couple states away, but I'm gonna be back in town on breaks, and if y'all need something, then call me, I'm here. We've been through a lot at U Prep, and I mean a lot. To Mr. Muno, my principal, it's a whole lot of things that I wanted to say to you for a long time. As a matter of fact, I wasn't gonna give this speech at all. But then I realized something. 
I realized that this speech is about more than just me. It means a lot to everybody that I mean a lot to. And I'm here as the UPrep 2018 valedictorian to tell you that you couldn't break me, and I'm still here. I'm still here strong. And after all these years, all this anger I had towards you and UPrep as a whole, I realized that I have to let that go in order to better myself. And I forgive you for everything I held against you. And on that note, I'm gonna let y'all enjoy this graduation and thank y'all for listening. <laughs> oh, I <sorry. laughs>